In this video, I'm making banana bread. Uh, this is a quick bread recipe, like a pumpkin bread or whatever. It's called quick bread because you don't use yeast like you would not use normally in uh, regular bread. So I'll go over the ingredients for you. You're going to need a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. You're going to need a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. You're going to need a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of cinnamon and then a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, if you don't like nutmeg, you can leave that out. Uh, you need two eggs, a uh, half a cup of melted butter, a half a cup of buttermilk, you need a teaspoon of uh, vanilla, and then you need your bananas. Now, for banana bread, you want to use bananas that are overly ripe. Uh, the more ripe, the better, really. Um, when the bananas become dark like this, uh, it brings out a lot of sugar in the banana and also the flavor of banana. So if you have a, a really um, fresh new banana, it's not going to give you the same flavor as one of these. Uh, and for this recipe, I like it to be banana-y. Yeah, that's a new word. But uh, at least three bananas and I use four. That's what I use. So we're going to get moving on this. Oh, also you're going to need, of course, you're going to need one um, loaf pan uh, greased. So I put a little bit of oil in there to grease the, the loaf pan. Also, I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and we're going to bake this for 45 minutes. So it comes together pretty quick. We're going to get our um, salt, our baking soda, cinnamon, and nutmeg and just dump that into the flour. And just sort of give that a little bit of a stir there. Okay. Then for our sugar, we're going to, I need a bowl. Let's see. Okay. We're going to uh, crack our eggs. So two eggs into our sugar, there, we're going to add uh, the butter, the half a cup of butter, we're going to add our half a cup of buttermilk, and buttermilk is a great thing in this recipe, you could also use if you wanted to use sour cream, I've heard of people using uh, yogurt, Greek yogurt. Uh, milk, you know, just regular milk would be fine too, but buttermilk really does just kick up the flavor in this recipe and it's really good. I did a video about buttermilk. If you haven't seen it, I'll try to uh, link that here in just a second. Okay, so the buttermilk and then the teaspoon of vanilla. I'll just do a cap full of vanilla there. Just give that a blend here. Now on that sugar, if you wanted to, you could use just white sugar, but the uh, brown sugar really does give it another depth of flavor. That molasses in the brown sugar really does uh, give it a little, a little something extra. Got that blended, and then we're just going to pour that into our dry ingredients. Okay, now then we'll use this bowl here, and we need to mash the bananas up. And again, the more ripe they are, the better, uh, because you know, um, a fresh banana will be a little bit more firm in texture. Well, these are not going to be you know, all that firm, but we're still going to have to sort of work a little bit to, to mash them up a little bit. People do um, freeze the bananas. If you get a, if you find a sale on bananas, you could certainly pop them in the freezer and freeze them and uh, leave them in the, leave them in their um, peeling, in the peel, and just pop it in the freezer and then, you know, the day before you want to use them, take them out that day so it can thaw out and 
I want to thaw before that. So anyway, we're just going to mash these bananas up. Take just a minute here. And depending on what consistency you want, is going to be how well you mash them. If you want a little bit of chunky bananas in there, then you're not going to mash them fully. If you want it to be really smooth, though, then you want to give it a real good mash here. So this is going to take just a minute or two. So we're going to go with that and pour that into our mixture here as well. Okay. Wipe my hands off real quick here. Okay, and then you're just going to stir it all together. Like I said, it comes together pretty quick. Incorporate all the ingredients together. Okay, so you have a mixture that looks something like that. Okay, and you can see those little chunks of bananas in there. You can see that. Okay, all right, then we're going to take our pan and put a little bit of grease in there, but I'll just work that around real quick. Pour the batter into the pan. Okay. All right. I'll give it a little tap. Give you an air bubble out of the can. And then we're going to put this in the oven at 450 degrees, and it's going to bake for, like I said, about 45 minutes. Uh, we'll check it probably around the 40-minute mark just to make sure we don't get it too brown or anything. If it happens to get brown, I might put some aluminum foil over the top to keep it from getting too brown. But uh, we'll bring you back here in just a few minutes. Okay, I'm back now, and it's out of the oven and fairly cool now. I accidentally let it go for a little bit too long. It's a little bit... A little bit uh, more done than I would have liked. Um, I left it in there for about um, about 55 minutes or so. I just got busy and sort of forgot. But anyway, uh, it's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it so you can kind of see. <laughs> it's a little bit crusty, but uh, still pretty good. Oh, nice and moist there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do one more slice here. Oh, it smells really, really good. So I don't know if you can kind of see that. We'll try to get a close-up. But uh, anyway, there we go. That's my recipe uh, for banana bread. And I forgot to mention, of course, you can add things to it. If you wanted to add um, uh, pecans or walnuts, you could have banana nut bread. Sometimes I do a streusel topping on top, um, and that really does uh, add up some flavor to it as well. But this is just sort of the basic recipe for uh, banana bread. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope that you give this recipe a try. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.